Hello everybody, this is the Very Tired Man here, and today I'm in Train Simulator 2, and today I'm going to show you how to make a road in Train Simulator 2. Now, it's pretty simple, but if, if it's hard for you, then you need to learn the editor. So, you want to go to Select Road, and then you are going to Create Road. So, once you're going to press Create Road, you're brought into this one... Uh, uh, baseboard thingy, and, uh, yeah, so you're brought into this one board thingy, big jiggy, and if you want to add more to make your roots even bigger, uh, I'm very tired, which is why I'm the tired man, um, yeah, so if, if you see a random tree in the middle of nowhere, then you'll want to leave that there for extra scenery because it means that you put down a free piece of scenery, which is a good thing, and it saves you time. <coughs> so, the, so, uh, like I said before, if you want to make the ground even bigger, you you add these baseboard thingy majiggies, and uh, this is how you add them. It's very simple. You just tap on the uh, the area where you want to place the baseboard. And then you'll be good to go with more space so you can build a big layout like Frody the Bobbin builds his Frody, Frody 13 corridor. Which looks like a really cool route, but I just live under a rock so I could never create something like the Frody 13 corridor. Now, so now that you've, now that you've made your land, you want to put track down. And uh, Frody the Bobbin recommends that you place down all the track before you paint the ground. So this way you have an idea of where you want to place the track. Like if you want to, if you want to build a line that's just a straight line, then you'll want to keep the grid so you have an idea of to make a line that's straight. So we're gonna start with a northeast corridor style, um, you know track so if you want to lay down a track you just tap on the ground and then drag on it to lay the track it's it's pretty simple but uh, that's how you do the thing oh by the way if you want to go to do the dashboard you press on the mountain thingy and then you press this plus which says add baseboard and if you press that trash can you can also get rid of the baseboard but i'll have to show another tutorial on that so uh, you just put your fingers on the edge of the track to drag it around and stuff so it's very simple so if you want to make a track longer you can uh, drag the straight even more of course if it's just a straight line it's it's, it's simple now if you want to make a corner thingy be jiggy then you'll want to put a spline point in the track. So to put a spline point in the track, you press the spliny thing that says insert spline point, and you can insert that into the track. And once you've done that, you can, you can drag more stuff, and uh, if the tracks don't connect, you just do that, and they will automatically connect. It's pretty simple. Yes. So that's how you lay down track. Now, if you get crook crooked stuff like this, you just move it around and stuff until you can get a pretty good corner. And you'll want to make sure the corner is especially straight if you're running high-speed trains like the Acela Express and A. Maria and crazy high-speed trains like that. So that's how you lay your track. So we're just going to build a short end-to-end -end route. Oh, I'm not even using up all the baseboards. Oh, actually, this is actually a pretty good idea because it means I can build like a branch line type thing, which is what I'm going to do. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. If, if, um, oh, by the way, if things, oh, by the way, if you want to delete track, you go into this pencil type thing, and then you make sure it's select, and then you just tap on the track, and then press the trash can to delete it. Also, if things do go wrong, you want to go into the gear type thing, and then go into that pencil, and then do, uh, undo thingy in case thing goes wrong. Apparently, it didn't quite work for me, but, uh, we'll make sure we can work our way around the situation. So, I'm just going to place a, a baseboard, so this way we can build our little branch line type thing. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons, hang on a second. Okay, now, add baseboard. Okay, so. So, you want to do this, and then you want to do that, and then that. Oops, not that. I'll just get rid of that, and then drag this thing along 
to the end of the world or something. However, if your line is meant to be a realistic line, then you don't want to have your track too close to the end of the world because if people see the end of the world, then your line is going to be very unrealistic, as Fronito Bobbin says. So, now, I'm going to add, I'm going to build on the track. Hang on, why is I not adding this line? Oh, that's very strange. I wonder why this is happening. This is, this is stupid. Why is this happening? Uh, I don't know why this is happening, guys. Uh, these track types are, are, they, yes, they are compatible with one another. Why are you saying that? This is so stupid. I don't know why you're even saying that. It's, you're obviously supposed to be compatible with each other. I don't know why you're saying that you're not, and it's pretty stupid. Why are you being like this? I don't understand. This is, this is the, I don't know if this thing is normal, you'll have to ask Frody to Bobbin about this, because I don't, I don't know why I'm experiencing this problem. It's, it's, it, it, it's pretty stupid. Yeah. I, I, I really don't know what's happening here. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can't build our main line. Oh well, this video is only for tutorial purposes. I guess we'll get rid of this one baseboard because it's here for no reason at all. So we're just we're, we're just gonna get rid of this silly baseboard thing because it's here for no reason. So yeah, trash can and then get rid of the board. And by the way, this ca it cannot be undone, so you're doing it at your own risk. Okay. So, now that you've laid your track, you could probably do this a lot better than me, but I'm just doing this my way. And so, so now that you've built the track, you want to paint the ground. So, you press the paintbrush and you look for something that is pretty cool. And you'll want to put the radius to the max if you want, to, want this to go by really, really quickly and really nicely. So, you just drag along the ground and you can paint the ground and stuff. And it, it, it's, it's really, really cool how they do this. Although, I kind of wish that you could paint the baseboards in one go. Like, you don't have to do all this painting and stuff because it takes a lot of time. And it takes the most time if you're building a really big route, like the Frodo 13 Corridor route. Yeah. I really wish that they gave us the option to just paint the whole baseboard in one go. So this way we didn't have to paint the whole, the whole thing all by ourselves. Because if we could just do it in one go and select the baseboard and thingy big jiggies, then uh, it would save a lot more time and a lot more money. But no, this is the way that we have to do it. And it's kind of angering me. Uh, so I'm just painting away. I'm just going to paint the whole baseboard. Actually, no, I'm not going to paint the whole baseboard because it'll take forever. Even though we have the majority of the baseboard painted, there's really not much more point in in getting and doing the rest of the job because it'll just be a waste of time. Yeah. So there you go for detailing. And uh, you could also make the track look more realistic by uh, doing this. You just lower the radius and you can get a correct radius. And that's that's how you can add ballast to the track to make the, make the line look more realistic. So there you go. Now... Of course, this is a train layout, but it wouldn't be a train layout without trains. So we need to place some trains. Now, you can get some DLCs and stuff. If, if you, and Well, actually, let's place some objects to do a thing. So you can place down buildings and stuff, and you can make your route look like a factory and stuff. You could also place down um, interesting stuff like that. You could place fabric thingy McJakeys and a bunch of goodness and stuff that I didn't even know existed. So there you go. So you can do cool stuff like that and you can have like a factory type thing going on. Yeah, and you know, I'm just doing this as a really quick thing, but you could probably build something a lot better than I have here. Haha, -ha. yeah. Now, if, if you want to get just trains, you get rid of trackside objects and you get rid of scenery. And you have a selection of trains. Uh, some of the trains that you see here aren't trains that you're probably going to get because um, I own some of the DLC packs that they have up on store. So, yeah. So, let's put down a Superliner and Amtrak Superliner coach because they look really, really cool. Yeah, I look at look at those coaches, aren't they so cool? And we're gonna we're gonna attach a little diesel train to pull that 
look at that. The train, the diesel train, isn't even large enough to go the whole trek. So that's what you can do for trains. You just you just get out whatever you want to place down, and you just tap on the track to place the train. It's really really simple. So. There you go. Look at that. That's a tiny little wagon against a big inner city sleeper car that's going to travel all, all, all over of America. So, yeah, that's basically the simple tutorial on how to create a route, a, a route for train simulator 2. You could probably do a, a lot better than I've done here. But we're, gonna, we're just going to take our, our little train for a drive along this little route. So if you want to go straight to the driver, you just press the gear assist system. And then you press the train, this drive session. And then you press save. And then you want to give, you you give the route a name. So we're just going to call it... Uh, Silly tutorial route. Yeah, I know I can't spell tutorial. It's, yeah, I, I can't even spell anything, but who really cares? So we're going to go into uh, the, uh, the the driving thingy, and we're going to drive our cool train. So there you go. There's our train. There's our stop. It's our really cool road. So we're going to end the tutorial with the train crash. <coughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm getting up a cough from all this cool singing and stuff. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you can do some extra settings if you want to switch between kilometers and miles per hour and units and stuff, you know, stuff like that. But I don't feel like going into that kind of detail for today. Uh, yeah, maybe if you want me to do more tutorials on Train Simulator 2, then do let me know. I do, I do read the comments on my, well, not my videos, on, but I do read the comments on Frody's videos about what you guys want to see. So, if you want to see a future tutorial on Train Simulator 2, because there's so much to do in this game, then do let me know. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do in this game, like you can... Like, you can set up portals and have AI trains do a bunch of stuff, and it's really, really cool. So, if you want to see that kind of stuff, then let me know, and I'll do another tutorial on Train Simulator 2. So, we're just going to drive to the end of the room, and we're going to crash, and then that's going to be the end of this tutorial. I really do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I, and, um, uh, yeah, we'll have this train crash, and then I'll see you in the next video. But, of course, the train needs to crash first. Because, you know, who doesn't like train crashes? <laughs> Oh, look at all those factories. We create a masterpiece of a route. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, I'll prob we'll probably come back to this route to do more tutorials, or I'll just head to the Frodo 13 corridor and do some stuff there. Because, you know, the Frodo 13 corridor, even though the Frodo 13 corridor is.